Now, here's Chief Meteorologist Tony Petrarca with your live Pinpoint Doppler 12 Futurecast. Well, the Atlantic and the Caribbean quiet. We're not tracking uh, any storms outside of Ophelia. In the meantime, it uh, feels more like the season, obviously. Had that chill this morning as expected and a cool afternoon. I mean, it's been a very very warm October and we're looking at temps the high temps today that topped out in the mid 50s. We're about 15 degrees warmer for tomorrow afternoon. So the pattern that we've been in for the first half of the month kind of resumes again tomorrow with above average temperatures once again. In the meantime, it is gorgeous all around sunshine and Newport dry temps in the 50s in most locations at 52. Now we are setting up for another chilly slash cold night. Maybe not quite as cold as last night, but obviously a warm jacket if you're heading out this evening. Uh, in Narragansett, blue water, blue skies, breezy and uh, dry temperatures in the 50s as well. So tracking the chilly temps for tonight, the warming trend which begins tomorrow afternoon, high temperatures approaching 70, and that'll pretty much be the theme tomorrow afternoon right on through the weekend. You know, your late nights and early mornings are cool, but your afternoons are mild. Rain free, storm free. I mean, the pattern that's setting up really doesn't favor any widespread precipitation or storms. Not a cloud to be found locally, and we widen out the view outside of a few clouds in the green and white mountains of uh, New Hampshire and Vermont. That's about it. High pressure, large and in charge, is in control. Uh, one and two. So we connect the two together. We call this a ridge of high pressure. So this is an envelope of uh, dry, storm-free weather. Now, the circulation around a high is such that on the top of it, right in here, the wind is more west and southwest, right over here. So notice the, the airflow is not coming out of Canada, but rather the, the central plains. And you look at the temperatures out here, and it's mild in the 60s and 70s, and this is the milder air that's headed our way, and you'll notice it by tomorrow afternoon, even though it starts off chilly at sunrise tomorrow morning. So take a look at our future cast. We'll get in real close. At least I hope we can. Go. Okay. I need a new 9-volt battery. But <laughs> you, get the, you get the idea here. Notice the temperatures this evening uh, dropping off upper 30s to low 40s. Now, here we are tomorrow morning, 4 a.m. It's chilly. Temps are in the uh, mid-40s. And then notice sunshine gets to work. I mean, a rapid warm-up. We're in the upper 60s to low 70s. So if you had to give tomorrow a letter grade, uh, it's an A-plus day. It's just gorgeous. And temperatures running above average. Beautiful tomorrow evening at 9 o'clock. Clear skies and temperatures in the upper 50s. Maybe going to the jack o lantern Spectacular this evening. Roger Williams Park Zoo. Looks nice. Grab a warm jacket, but otherwise it's clear and dry. Future cast tomorrow morning. Chilly at dawn, but a rapid warm up. Plenty of sunshine. 40s will translate to 50s, 60s to eventually near 70, sometime between 1 and 3 o'clock in the afternoon. So a beautiful day. And that is the theme tomorrow afternoon right through the weekend and even into Monday. In fact, the next chance of any precipitation is not until Tuesday of next week with temperature <laughs> temperatures in the upper 60s to lower 70s. Where did you find where did you find a 9-volt battery? Oh, you can download the Channel 12 weather app on your smartphone and in the tablets as well. If you need batteries, see Mike. I know I missed your birthday, so this is an early Christmas gift for, wow, the, next, uh, nice. for the next forecast. For the clicker. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> Big spender. Thank you. There's more coverage you can count.